Adding animal movements into your fitness regimen has a lot of great benefits. These movements help to build strength, improve coordination, increase mobility, and overall connectedness throughout the body. Plus, it's a super fun and unorthodox way to get a workout in. Here are the first three animals that I like to begin with. Our first animal series is the beast. And the beast position, we're gonna position our hands right underneath our shoulders and our knees are gonna be just underneath our hips. And we're gonna be up on the balls of our feet. Just hold this position for about five seconds. And when you need to relax it, go ahead and just place your knees down on the ground and go ahead and just relax. When we're just starting out in these positions, it's gonna be a lot of load, especially on the legs, maybe even on the shoulders. So just hold the position, hold the posture first for five, work your way up to 10, 15 seconds, and then you can do it again. Then we go into the beast stretch. We go into the beast position right here. We're gonna bring our butt all the way back to our heels, stretching that back. Then we're gonna pike it all the way up, staying on the balls of our feet. We're gonna look up, drop our hips right all the way down. Keep the elbows straight, the arms straight, looking up, then look down. Bring the hips back up into that beast pike position, and then come all the way back down. Then we have our beast crawl, which is our first animal movement, and we're gonna use opposite hand, opposite leg. My left leg and my right hand are gonna step together. And then my right leg and left hand are gonna step together. And we're gonna work this crawl. We also wanna make sure that we can crawl backwards. Same thing, opposite leg, opposite hand. Let's get 10 beast crawls moving forward and 10 beast crawls moving backwards. Our second animal set is crab. Let's go ahead and get into the basic posture. We're gonna bring our hands just behind our back. Fingers are pointed away. And make sure that our shoulders aren't rounded. We want to bring our shoulders back, engaging those shoulder blades. We're gonna raise our hips just slightly off the ground. And now we are in crab. Now if you want to get a little bit of a shoulder stretch, you can go into high crab, raising your hips up. The higher you raise your hips, the deeper the stretch on the shoulders, on the front of the shoulders. Now we're gonna go into the actual crab stretch, which is from a three point bridge. We're going to reach with the left hand, turning to the right, reach all the way over, bring the hips as high as you can, and try to lengthen your body. Keep your posted arms straight and bring it back down, and the other side. Right hand's gonna reach all the way up to the sky and over as we bring the hips up as high as we can, extending our bridge and reaching with the right hand to get that extension. One more time on each side for our crab stretch. Make sure that you're breathing when you're stretching. It's very important that we're keeping that blood rich with good oxygen. All right, and then we have the crab walk, and we're gonna do the same thing as the beast. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Right hand's gonna step with the left foot, and then the left hand with the right foot. Let's get 10 crab walks in, forward and back.
Our third and last animal set for this video is ape. So we're gonna go ahead and get into a deep squat just like this to establish ape. Try to get our heels on the ground. Try to keep our back straight. We don't want it to be rounded at this point. And once we establish this position, we go into the ape stretch. Our first is coming forward. We're gonna bring our hands, twisting our hands until the palms are outside and thumbs are down. And we're gonna drive our back forward. Then we're gonna come up, extending our back and coming up to the balls of our feet. Let's do it again. A little bit of balance work here. One more time. For the ape crawl, we're gonna place our hands on the ground and just for beginning, we can keep our hips low for now, and we're going to shift to the side just like this. And let's get 10 in at each direction. So there are three great animal movements and positions to start off in your primal fitness. I always like to cover these three basics with every animal set. Hold the posture, stretch through the posture, and then your basic crawl with that posture. It's a great way to condition your body and reconnect your body to be a whole unit again. Which of these animal postures is your favorite? Which one do you find to be the easiest and which one do you find to be the most difficult? If you'd like to see more of the animal sets from our Primal Fitness, please let me know in the comments. And be sure to subscribe, like, and I'll see you back here next time. Get out there, go move your body, and remember that movement is freedom. I'll see you next time.